Finding Bunny by Andrew Turney. For my precious Violet, all my love to Heather, Mum, Pop, Isabel, Sharon and Carol. Sorry, Coral. This is what happens when all a real life tragedy becomes a really great story, A.T. For Alison, my beautiful cousin and Jay. For everyone. Let's do this. Finding Bunny. Okay. My name is Bunny. One windy spring day, I met a sweet girl and asked her to play. We were friends in an instant. She said, My name's Flea. She was sashy and clever with a heart just for me. She'd buttoned my cardigan once at the neck over the top of my dress with a check. I'd smile like the sun on a warm summer day and V would smile back. I love you, she'd say. Wherever we traveled, I always went too. We went on adventures as friends always do. She'd hold on to my arm or my leg, squeeze my chest, shrieping, swung by the ears was what I loved best. Oh, Bunny and B. We played at the park duck for dinosaur bones until it was time for us to head home. V hurried quickly to Granddad's old car. I was placed on the roof so I couldn't go far. I waited up there counting clouds in my mind. But the car drove away. I'd been left behind. Has everyone left? Oh, how can this be? I fell to the dirt. They've gone without me. <gasps> uh, oh, no. The black gravel ground scraped the fur off my back. I lay terrified as the night sky turned black. Big boots in the dark knocked me this way and that. Bike tires stung my face. Car wheels squashed me flat. A grey bird named Iron with a long pointy nose scurried beside me and pulled at my toes. His beak grabbed my arm, left a hole and a scratch. Then he flew off and dumped me alone in the trash. Aww. I closed my eyes tight, imagining V, so sad in our bed, worried sick about me. Who'd help her get dressed, chase away all her fears? Who'd snuggle her clothes? Kiss the tracks of her shoes. I stared at the moon, trying hard to be brave. I longed for these hugs, all the kisses she gave. I shook with burr. I thought I might freeze. I sniffled and sobbed. Vee, come back for me, please. Out. Bunny, I found you! Bee's granddad cried loud. Strong arms scooped me up. Whoosh! And I. and wiped me down too. Now, let's take you home. Someone's waiting for you. I worried. Will we still want me to stay? My fur is all dirty. Will she throw me away? 
I'm not the same bunny. I'm torn and I'm tattered. I said to myself, hoping none of that mattered. As Grandad clicked open the door with his key, V screamed with delight. Bunny's come back to me. I don't want a new bunny. It's you that I lost. I'll mend what's been broken, whatever the cost. We started to stitch all my holes, rips and tears with patches from Nanny and V's loving care. My clothes smelled like sugar. My limbs were now sworn. V kissed me and whispered, You're finally home. My cardigan still buttoned once at the neck with my worn pinkish arms and my dress with a check. But I smile ear to ear with the fresh, clean as new, as we shy. Oh, bunny, I'll always love you. Oh, what a lovely story, guys. Thank you, Andrew and Nikki. Finding bunny, you are rescuing bunny, and there he is, all new, and all happy, and all home.